Okay. I think this is a misprint. This should say 5 to the power of 0. Well, write down the value of that. The value of it is just 1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. This one asks us what 64 to the minus 1 third is. So to start with, I'm going to do 64 to the plus 1 third. Well, that's the cube root of 64, or it's the answer 4. 4 times 4 times 4 gives me 64. But that wasn't what I was asked to do. I was really asked to do 64 to the minus 1 third. Well, this is easy because it's just the, when it's just the negative, the math name for this is reciprocal. So, whatever answer I got for the positive power of a third, the negative power of a third is just a quarter. One over four. That's my answer there. Then we scroll down. This bit's a bit tricky. We've got to find the power of n that makes this work. Well, I know the square root of 27 is equal to the square root of 3 times the square root of 9, which is, this bit is just 3, which is the square root of 3 times by 3. If I do the other side over here, I know that 3 to the n divided by 9 is really 3 to the n divided by 3 squared, which is actually written. Well, I take away the powers when I divide. Okay, let's go back to this side. Well, I know that the power of this is a half, and I know the power of this is 1, so I know the power of this overall is 1.5. So I know that to make the things the same, to make them equal, I know that this power here, the power of 1.5, is got to be the same as the power n minus 2. Because they're both now complete, just threes on their own, not mixed up, looking like something else, or not divided by 9, they're just 3 to the power of something, 3 to the power of something. So I now know that n minus 2 it's got to equal 1.5 or n is equal to 1.5 plus 2 n is therefore just the number 3.5 so 3.5 quite a tricky question really this is all on the uh, topic of indices so when this bottom question is really hard go back and have a look if you need to